Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rachel back with Template For Me. And today I'm going to show you guys a kind of a non-traditional thing with Template For Me. And this is designing earrings, which is kind of something that you wouldn't think Template For Me can do, but I just kind of figured out how, and it is pretty awesome. And I will show you guys some of my examples at the end of the video, um, cause they're pretty awesome. So, um, as you guys know, this is a great monogram maker. Um, you can do your name, you can do the initial in the back, but you can also get rid of both of those things and you can do a lot more in this, which is what I'm going to show you guys today. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're actually just going to get rid of the name part. Bye. And then I'm actually also for this first example, I'm going to get rid of the end here. Update. Now you will notice that these are small little lines and they're still going to show up in your, in your SVG. But one thing you can do is if you get them off the screen, then they won't show up anymore. So we're actually just going to start with a completely blank canvas. So we'll go down to lines. We'll literally make these go down and you can actually change. So that's like a large change. So if you do small, medium, large, so small is like making really, really small adjustments. Medium is kind of in the middle. I use medium most of the time. And then large is if you want to move something really, really quickly or make radical changes. Okay, so we're left with the blank screen. So what do we do now? Well, what I like to do first is I like to start with the border. So these borders are great for earrings, which you wouldn't necessarily think of. So the best one that I can think of is just kind of this base one. Awesome. So you have your basic where you put the earring hook in, you have your circle. Now, typically I would make these about two inches. That's what I would recommend. If you make it around one, this is probably going to be too small. And this particular part is going to be too weak, but I am working with the, the designer. Um, hopefully we can come up with some new things that people will really like if this takes off with regards to jewelry. So, um, and then the next part you will need to do is the middle. Now, one of the great things that I love about the middle here is you can upload your own files. So you can actually upload and put whatever type of image you want in here. But for now, let's just start with some of the images that we have already preloaded. So you can scroll through. Now, some of these images like the dinosaurs in the car are actually images that I uploaded, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to use them for the purpose of this, but that's something that you could potentially do in the future. But we're just going to use um, anything that people can already have preloaded. So let's go to nature. Nature is always fun. You can kind of scroll through and see a few of the different designs. Um, and I will go ahead and pick one that I've actually already created, which is this flower. Now you want them to all be connected. So what I'm actually going to do is if you go over here, you can make it smaller, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to make it bigger. Awesome. And you make it bigger and you want this to touch the edge, which is the black. I'm actually going to make it just a tiny bit smaller and maybe move it down slightly. Move the border down. Nope. And again, you'll want to switch it to large or small, depending on how big of the changes you're making. Um, I'm going to change the middle and I'm actually going to make the middle part go down slightly. I'm going to make it go out just a bit. Okay. So I'm happy with that. So this is our first design we're going to make. And literally all you have to do now is label it. So I'm just going to label this as generic earring and you can export it as an SVG. As soon as you do that, you can go over to your Glowforge tab, which I don't think I was able to do because of the way my recording software is. Um, you can go over to your Glowforge tab, import that, and you can literally cut it right from there, which is pretty amazing. So that's one design that we can do. Now you can do tons of other designs with the circle format too. So look, let's look at a few others that we could do. So you just want them to be connected. So you could do an egg. So I could make this a little bit bigger. That could be a fun Easter design, or that could just be a fun design in general. I don't know. You could do, um, instruments are really, really fun. We'll get to that in a second, but you might be able to do this violin. That's kind of cool. So that could be a cool earring. Now keep in mind that you don't want anything too thin because these are going to be small. And so this bow probably would not hold up. So that's probably not the best for our purposes here, but there's just so many different types of things that you could do here. Snowman, that one would be great. So again, just make your adjustments as needed. 
And there you go. Your snowman would be right in the middle of your circle and that's a perfect earring and you literally just hit download. So that's one type of earring that you can make. Um, the other one I've used a decent amount is this one, which let me get rid of my snowman so you guys can actually see the border. So I think this one's really, really cool too. You can do a lot of different designs. Let me show you guys one of the designs that I did with this one is I actually found... Let's see if I can find it again. I'm not seeing it in animals, surprisingly. So let me just scroll through all. I actually found a spider, and it looks like the like Spider-Man spider, which I thought was pretty cool. So if you know someone that likes spiders or Spider-Man, this could really be appropriate for them. There it is. And so I just decreased that, put it in the middle. I'm going to make it medium so it doesn't take quite as long. Now, I'm not going to worry about perfectly centering it because you guys get the point. But then I was able to create an earring that looked like this, which was also really, really cool. Um, but you can do so many of these different designs. You just kind of have to play with different things. With Christmas coming up, there might be some cool Christmas designs you might want to make. You could do this cross. That could be really cool. Just kind of put that in the middle there. So again, you'll have to kind of make your adjustments as needed, but there's so much potential here. Like, I mean, that's, that's super cool that you could do something as simple as that. And then it literally takes less than a minute to design kind of like a custom pair of earrings. So I'll just kind of, yep. I think that that would look great. That could be a really, really cool earring too. Um, now, one of the other things that I did is I actually changed the border. And when I changed the border, I put the border as just this tiny little circle. Now, this tiny little circle is great because that's your earring hook. And then whatever the middle image is, as long as you connect it to it, then you can have your own custom earring there. So let's make our cross actually go up. Change that to medium. Now your cross is connected to the loop, which again, you can kind of center it as you need to. But now it's connected to the loop. And there you go. You have a custom pair of earrings. You have cross earrings made like that. Really, really, really easy. Um, you can also do lots of other types of things. I think I did um, some flowers. Let's see if I can find it in um, some of our nature section. So one of the other flowers that I did, unfortunately, it's not in this section. Again, let me just scroll um, down the all section and then I'll see if I can find it. Um, one of the other flowers that I did was really pretty and it was kind of a thicker flower and those earrings turned out really great as well. So I'll show you guys those earrings after I find that particular pattern. But as you can see, as we're scrolling down this, there's so many options, so many options. And so you guys can create all of these different unique designs and I'd love to see what you guys create. I'll show you guys a few of my creations, but I would love to see what you create as well. And I might have actually skipped it because I've been so mesmerized by all of the different things that we can make. Um, so looks like I missed it for whatever reason. So I apologize for that. But I will show you guys that pair at the end. And that design is also in template for me. But you can do so many different things with this, which is one of the things that I love. I mean, we could do a star right here. There's your star earring. So again, adjust as needed. We want to make sure it's stable enough, etc. cetera. Um, I'm not taking the time to really center it and everything like that because I'm just trying to get through this as an example. But there, there's just so many different possibilities of things that you can do if you just look through all of these different things. And if you just add the circle on the top, you can make any of these into a quick earring. Let's make one of the states an earring. There we go. It's done. How cool is that? So that's just one of the ways you can make things into earrings. Now, if you wanted to actually include an initial, even cooler, so you'll go back up to here. I'm actually going to get rid of the middle now. I'm actually going to get rid of the border just for now as well. And I am going to put the behind text. I am going to put the letter, let's just do T. Okay. Again, you see the split right here. You want to get rid of that. So if you go to lines down here, and I'm going to go to large just so I can move, quickly move this, you want to get this out of there. We don't need it. I'm going to make the T smaller, and then you can add the border. And this could be an easy 
earring as well. So you go to border, make your border a little bit smaller. That looks awesome already. And then you can even change the font. So let's say I wanted to make a little bit fancier of a T. That's kind of fun. So I'm actually gonna move the actual T. So if I move the T, see that font doesn't really work perfectly for me. So I'm gonna choose something else, but you can really work with it and kind of mess with it and stuff like that. I really like the traditional T. And you can resize it and things like that to really kind of match whatever your vision is with this. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it go down just a tiny bit. Yeah, I need to change it to. Okay, make it go down just a little bit more. And there's my earring. And then again, all you do, name it, download as SVG, upload it to Glowforge, and you have yourself a custom pair of earrings. So there are so many different types of things you can do with this. Hopefully, um, our creator of template for me is going to add some more designs soon. That would be even cooler, but these are just some of the different earring designs you can make with template for me. So hopefully you guys create some and have some fun. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. All right, guys, sorry that I know this is not the best format, but I wanted to show you guys my final products. This is a picture of uh, some of the final products. So I did two rings. I did the spider ones that I showed you guys before. Um, here's a picture of some of the flower ones that I created. I thought those turned out amazing. Um, some of the candy cane ones that I made. And then I also made, instead of the T, I made the R because that's my first name, which is Rachel. Um, so I just created a bunch of these different types of things. Um, for those that are curious, the whiter ones are birch, uh, Baltic birch which I just bought off of, I believe I either bought it off of Etsy or Amazon. I'm not sure which batch I used for this one. And then this is Smoky Hill uh, Sapo Wood, which is beautiful, which is now my new favorite. So um, if any of you guys are curious, these are just some of how the designs turned out, which are great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope to see some of your designs soon. And I hope you love this software as much as I do.